and Anthony, and Anthony, and Melanie, for an unfit show. show. We're so bad. It is horrible. It's <laughs> like the worst song ever. Welcome to another exciting YouTube video with Melanie. No, this is like the first video I've ever had with you, honey. All of my videos suck until now. This is the best moment that's ever happened to you. Right yes. now, you are meeting the man, the myth, the legend, Anthony. Cantamo, the beard. Anthony the beard, Cantamo. Yes. So, we're excited to be here. We're going to be talking about what we think are some of the most exciting brands that we saw at the IPCPR. And we're definitely excited for you guys to know about them because I think you guys are going to want to check them out, whether it's at our shop or your local B&M. Get you some. It's not BM like bowel movement. It's brick and mortar. Just making it clear. I'm pretty sure they were clear about that. <laughs> On target. Top five from the IPCPR. Yep, top five. All right, All right. number five. Start with the black label. Sure, let's start with black label. And yeah, and Black Label is probably not our number five because we love the heck out of Black Label. Yeah, it's just we, what first popped into Squirrel Mind. So I really, really, really love Black Label. And if you've met James Brown, who is the man behind Black Label. And Godfather of Soul. Oh, he isn't really the Godfather of Soul, but we just like to say that because they have the same name. Yeah, thanks for explaining <laughs> that to me. Godfather Brown. of Black Tobacco. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. And it's, those cigars are freaking fabulous and freaking dark. They are. They are dark. If you're fans of full-bodied. Full-flavored. Nicaraguan sticks. Nicotine. Nicotine country. bombs. <laughs> yeah. Some of them. Some, some of them are really flavored. Yeah, yeah. Not all of them. They'll Not trick you because sometimes you're like, wow, this is going to be like full-bodied and it's not so bad. Absolutely. Yeah. It's just lots of flavor. Mm -hmm. But we've got two new limiteds in the Black Works series. The first one's Boondocks. It's shipping next month. We'll have it in stock for sure. Make sure you call ahead because that goes fast. It gets produced. But anyway, Boondocks um, smoked it this week. It is definitely a full-bodied blend. Definitely in the style of what they do. Serve it and Rainbow. Good stick. Great smoke. Really different from the rest of their profile. I've smoked Number one. Number four. Number four. We have a major crush on this person. Literally, like, I didn't know what to do with myself when I first met him. And I told Anthony, don't go to this booth. But we did. And then I went there and I was like, I have to cancel my flight. I canceled my flight and rescheduled it because I was sitting at the booth smoking the cigar. The cigar was so flipping amazing. So, the company's called Sam's Barrage. You may have seen the video on Half Wheel this week. If you haven't, go check out their <laughs> coverage of Sam's Barrage. Because the video pretty much sums up the owner of that company, Aaron, and how he is. The guy's a trip. Totally different personality than I've really come across in the industry. But what's great about him is that he is very particular and driven. And so what he wanted to do was come up with a cigar that was truly worthwhile in smoking. Create a cigar that was not just good, not the best. Not just okay, not even the best. Oh, flawless. No, no not even flawless. No, wait, I forgot. He no. wanted perfection. Can you even do that? We don't know. But he thinks he got it. Now, that comes in his gold line with the Super Lancero, which is an $80 lamp You can't even watch him smoke a cigar. Like, literally can't watch him smoke a cigar. He won't allow you to. He only does it in private, because it is a private experience for himself. Like watching him have sex. Literally his own words. He said, I would probably be bleeped out because that was a little vulgar. He said that. He did. He was like, you won't ever see me having sex. You won't ever see me smoking a cigar. Sans Pariah is French for without peer, without equal. Um, and really what you get, you get the blue, the red, and the purple lines. They all have different wrapper styles. And they're all utilizing different highly aged, what he calls elite tobaccos. Elite tobaccos, it's pretty cool. It's a story um, he told us about. Uh, basically, Pochi Blanco um, from Tobacco of La Palma uh, has been essentially for pride's sake been storing very unique, very different tobaccos whenever he can. And in putting all those aside, 
he's been setting aside what he's been stockpiling is called elite tobaccos. Um, is a very unique treat to your palate. Uh, I think everybody out there, if you haven't tried one, should try one. Sans Pariah. So that leads us to number three. Yeah, which this one will be pretty short and sweet because it's the only new product he's got. One size, and once again, it's another one that we're super passionate about, and it's Chewy. Um, we love Chewy. We love Victor. Victor. Last year, actually, we had him come in our, our room at the IPCPR because he couldn't find a hotel room, and I was like, just spend the night at our room. We had, like, two other people in there. It was like a party. Right now, the focus is on a limited run item from called Heartbreaker. One size. It's another passion project. It's all going to break your hearts because what, it's going to just be like the Primorano, yeah. which nobody's going to get, and they're all going to complain about because they didn't get it in time. Yeah, 10 count boxes, 250 boxes are coming to the U.S. and that's it. So this will be gone in a blink of an eye. Um, once again, we'll be having it. We uh, ordered as big as we could on it. Five, four, three. Yeah, remember we got Black Label, Label. Sans Pariah, right. Chewy Heartbreaker. Chewy. We've got now Steve Saka. Oh, we love Steve Saka. Saka Squatch. Uh, big fans of Saka, Dunbar Tobacco and Trust. He's so honest. He is that. He is. You he know, will tell you everything you need to know. And, and even stuff that you don't want to know. Now, when you get down to tobacco and you get down to tobacco guys, what I've always loved about Steve Saka is his passion for the industry, but more than that, his passion for tobacco. He thinks about it. And when we went into his booth, the only way he could try out one of his new sticks was if it was within a certain humidity range within the cigar. He had everything. too much or too little, he just put it to the side because it's not worth smoking yet. <laughs> So he had this really highfalutin little, uh, I don't remember what it was called, but uh, a gadget. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, two little prongs, he stuck it in the foot, and it read the relative humidity and moisture content that was inside of the cigar. If it was within the right zone, you got one. If it wasn't, you didn't. What I know about Todos Las Dias is that uh, it's a full body smoke. And you I think- smoked it. I smoked it, I know, I'm getting to that. Oh, sorry. You're just interrupting. Okay. Yeah. So, Steve, in uh, his conversation about the stick, put it out like this. He said, this cigar is not geared for everyone. We all understood what he's saying. Basically, this cigar is for the guys who really like spice. They really like a nicotine strong cigar. Um, you know, they don't really care necessarily more about the sweet elements. They do more like the big, bold, full-bodied elements. This cigar's got a lot of strength, a lot of um, pepper. pepper and spice, but as Steve put it, and what's really interesting about it is if you pay attention to it, it's like a curry spice. There's kind of this whole mouth spice. It hits all the different sections of your palate. He's also got his other Muestra project coming out, Noctamale, which I'm really excited about. Uh, it's a different blend than the Exclusivo that was just out. Uh, it, all from one finca or farm, which is pretty interesting. So that's, that's cool. what makes that one a little unique. Uh, and once again, people are probably either gonna love it or maybe not, but we certainly know Saka stuff does great for us. And we're always gonna support the heck out of him because he supports the heck out of us. And we're really excited about the project, uh, which takes us to really our number one. Number one, we're so excited. Okay, yeah. who's ready for this? This is a big time. Yeah. Yeah. Number one. Number one. Get ready. Foundation with their two new projects of El Wednesday Maduro. But and this a, is big. And this next I, one is. I'm so excited about this. And I, yeah. Okay, so excited. go, 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 honey. Okay. High Clear Castle. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mel has family that is Canadian and also like to, you know, they all came from. UK at one point. So for her, she's all excited about the British Lord Fancy Bottom part of the story. I, on the other hand, think the cigar is hella good. Hella good. The High Clear Castle. Now, it's a Connecticut, and a lot of people might be here in Connecticut and going, meh. But trust me, this is a year of the Connecticut's. There are some great Connecticut's that are not only what a great Connecticut should be, which is creamy and rich. And not that Connecticut taste. Ugh. Yeah, not that bitter taste, but just flavor oh, driven. Oh, so good. Yeah, and the High Clear Castle is everything like that. To me, it was creamy from the first light. 
There's none of that normal bitterness that comes off some classic Connecticut's. It just was creamy, rich, and then there's a sweetness that just ran through it all the way through and had a lot of depth to it. It really was a phenomenal cigar. It's easily the most standout cigar from the show, at least for my palate. I smoked it. It was radically different to me. I was blown away by the quality of it. Um, I really can't speak highly enough about it. And then the El Wente Maduro. Oh, this is fantastic. Is what a San Andreas wrapper on a cigar should do. Um, it took the El Wente blend a whole nother level. It's yeah. rich, sweet, it's flavor driven, medium bodied. I mean, once again, it was so good. This year, you know, once again, we've got five companies that we think have some truly demanding of your attention cigars. Uh, once again, our number one pick this year is High Clear Castle and the uh, Wednesday Maduro for Foundation. Um, after that, we've got Saco Total de Las Diaz for your full body nicotine guys. You've got Victor with Heartbreaker, which is going to be another fantastic Dominican utilizing tobaccos at Focuso Reyes' farms. And then you've got Sans Parai, which is probably one of the most unique high dollar experiences you're going to have in cigars this year, or probably in a long, long while. Everything about those cigars is unique. It puts your palate on a whole different journey than you've been on. And when you learn more about the owner of the company, it's just hard not to kind of fall in love with it. It's ridiculous. And then number five, of course, is what we love, and that's James Brown, godfather of great tobacco and soul at <laughs> Black, Black Label, Label Trading yeah. Company uh, with uh, Boondocks and Serpent and Rainbow. About Once again, these are the five that we took away as being really standout, different, great cigars from the IPCPR. And this is, once again, Melanie. And Anthony. And Anthony. From Ford on Fifth. You can find us at FordOnFifth.com. Uh, you can also find us on the interwebs at FordOnFifth. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. We like thumbs up. <laughs>